how's it going? So today, where's my tea? I have tea, I swear. Ah, here it goes. Earl Grey milk and sugar. It's actually decaf Earl Grey. Um, pretty good. And I can't tell the difference, so it doesn't matter to me. And today I'm gonna tell you about a new toy I got. So I had a gift certificate and a 60% off coupon to Joann's, so I was like, whew, dangerous woman, dangerous woman. So when you get a coupon to Joann's, there's a, I'm sure all of you know this, but there's a trick. It's usually 40, 50, 60% off something that's not on sale. So everything's on sale. So it's actually really hard to use the coupon because like, you know, the books are 20% off, so you can't use your 60% off coupon on the books because they're already on sale. So you have to look like really hard to figure out how to use the coupon. Um, but I was up to the challenge. So I've been doing a lot of bead crochet recently. Um, sorry, I have to build up to the story, then I'll show you what I got. So I've been doing a lot of bead crochet. And if you're not familiar, this is some bead crochet. Um, it's work done with seed beads. Um, and I've done another um, episode where I talk about how to do bead crochet and my favorite resources and blah, blah, blah. So, um, you know, I'll refer you to that for all the details, but um, it is just gorgeous. I really love doing it. Um, the hardest part, to be honest, is stringing the beads. You have to string all of the beads on before you get started. So here we go. See, I have a spool of thread. Um, it's Ceylon bead cord, that's C-L-O-N bead cord. And you have to string all the beads before you start crocheting. So it's really annoying, um, but it makes for a great travel project because if you can string all of them first, um, then you're just like on a roll and once you start they can't come off so it's super fun I love bead crocheting and I love colors so um, anyway I love it but anyway as I alluded to it's really 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 annoying to string the beads um, so for something like this um, I strung um, you basically like for the length of piece you want if your work is six beads around you multiply it by six so if you want something this long multiply that by six and you need a string. I don't even know if I'm in the camera. You need a string this long um, to get the piece. Uh, you probably know I film this without a camera. Like, I can't see, I have a camera. I don't have a thingy that tells me what you're looking at. So it's all by the seat of my pants. Um, so anyway, it's a lot of beads. So my vision for this piece, isn't it so pretty, is to do a black, plain black piece like this is a necklace, sorry I don't want to hit Maddie, but this is a necklace that would be lower than this and there'd be a black piece in the back, you get it, kind of like that. Um, it probably doesn't take too much imagination to figure that like stringing a ton of black beads like isn't that exciting. Um, and especially with Maddie, like it's sort of, I don't know, it's sort of hard. <laughs> so um, this project has been sidelined for so long, I don't even know how long ago I started it, um, because I didn't feel like stringing all the black beads. Okay, so here I am in Joann's trying to buy something that can't be fabric or yarn or books or magazines because the coupon doesn't work. So I'm in the bead aisle because I really do like bead crocheting, but you know, also in the realm of coupon tips, buying one package of beads isn't a good deal because right, they're only $3 and 60% off isn't like that great of a deal. Um, and also not, well, you probably know I already feel this way. You shouldn't get everything at Joann's. Um, the beads that you can buy at like a bead, like a proper bead store are much higher quality. Um, and so I splurge on the beads, but like, you know, for other things, I'm going to Joann's. Um, I'll show you what I got, then I'll talk about the beads. Okay, this thing's called a bead spinner. And I was really skeptical. I called the girl over and I was like, do you know anyone who's used this? Cause it looks like either it's the most genius invention in the world or it's like a made for, what is it, what are these things called? Made for TV? No, like, oh, as seen on TV or it's some as seen on TV thing that like never actually works when you get it home. And she said, I have one, I'm surprised. Um, and it, there's a learning curve to it, but once you get it working, like it's working. And that's my kind of thing. I'm willing to learn, willing to put in the effort, but 
I want to know that it actually works. So I am super excited. Um, so I'm going to finish like my talking and then I'm going to move like the camera. I'll stop, restart, move the camera so you can see me doing it. I just started 10 minutes ago. Well, 10 minutes before I start recording. Um, and so I'm not like as good as it gets, but I'll just talk about it first and you can see what I'm doing. So anyway, about beads, um, beads, like this is a seed bead. If, well, you can't, you know, it's this little tiny bead. Um, and the thing that distinguishes the quality beads from like the yeah beads, um, they're kind of, they make different materials and all that stuff. But the main thing that I think is important is the, um, un uniformity. So, um, there are Japanese Toho seed beads, T-O-H-O, -O, I think. Um, and they are very uniform. So like you're stringing it and your piece is gonna look super nice and even and they're gonna sit really nicely together if they're uniform. The cheap beads, ones you get on Joann's, um, they're cheap and that's fine and there's nothing wrong with them but you have to sort of cull them. You have to sort of go through them because through them, they'll be very uneven. So you might find one with a hole that's too small to actually fit on your um, thread you might find one sort of bulgy. Sometimes you find like two glued together or whatever. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but you need to weed through them if you want a nice finished piece because you don't want like this weird one. Um, especially with bead crochet, since the pieces are locking together, a weird one sort of throws a lot off. Um, so if you're buying some cheap beads, like I said, totally cool, I don't care. Um, but cull, sort of be aware, pick out the crappy ones. Um, especially before you use this bead spinner thing because they'll like not fit on your thingy. So anyway, how this thing works. Um, and again, I'll show you a different view. I'll move over to another table. So this thing, you turn it on and it spins. It spins both directions for right-handed and left-handed people. Um, and it comes with this little, here you go, this little bowl. So this is the spinny madu and this is the bowl and it fits in and you put your seeds, I'm not gonna tip it too far, in the bowl. All the seeds you want. And it comes with this little tool. So it is open, like, see, it's in the middle. So what you do is you string that on the thing you're trying to, you know, you thread it with the thingy, the string. And then you use this, it's like fishing. You use this thing and you fish for the little beads. And so any size cord will fit because see, it gets really big. So it's, it works for the um, bead cord, which is thicker than like a, you know, a, it's thicker than thread that you would use for um, sewing or whatever. Okay. Um, maybe I'm ready to move. Um, yeah, okay, I'll move the camera. So from here on out, you won't get to see any of the cuteness that's happening down here. Um, any of the napping cuteness, um, or me. So, cause I'm not a fancy technology studio. So, um, and I'm gonna restart with the camera looking on this little beading thing. See you soon. Okay guys, here I am. I moved a little. I don't know if this is the best angle in the entire world, but you know, um, short of attaching the camera to my head, um, I think it's the best we're gonna get. So you're using this tool to fish for the beads. Um, and the instruction manual says there's sort of a technique to it and I'm not sure, I, I don't have the technique yet, but I'm gonna show you like what I can do being a total newbie and I can only imagine that someone who's been using it for longer, you know, is better. So I'm gonna set it to spin this way because I'm right-handed and you take this tool and you go fishing. So you stick it down and look how many I got. So I got like an inch, I'd say and then you shove it down and you just go again. So I'm not a pro. Okay, I only got three. But actually, I find the whole process kind of entertaining. Eh, there we go. Oh, okay, sometimes that happens. They all fall off. But don't get discouraged. Then go, you're trying to get the curve to sort of go with how it's turning, you know? So you go in, you try and catch some. Yay, I got some. So anyway, like I said, I'm totally new at this. I just brought it home and I'm not totally successful at it, but I'm learning. 
and this just uses two AA batteries, so you're not, you know, nothing fancy. Um, and I can imagine once you get it going, because sometimes I've had some pretty good spells, like, whoo, half an inch, um, where if you're just going in, dip, and you get it so you can pick up an inch, like, man, your money. And it would make it a ton faster. Because also, you don't have to do this. You don't have to have very good eyesight. Like you're not poking. You're not poking it in a bead, right? You're not. What you're doing basically. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, oh, I lost it. I had a really good one, but I lost it. Um, what it's basically doing is you're hitting this needle with so many beads so fast that some of them are just bound to skip on, and that's sort of the philosophy. Look at that one. That's good. Um, that's the philosophy you're going with. So if you have like vision problems, um, which is pretty much like, you know, everyone over the age of 20, I feel like, at least it is for me, <laughs> that it's hard to get the piece on. Um, or if you have dexterity problems, you know, like, um, I don't know if you guys remember on the blog, um, about 18 months ago or so, I had a very severe uh, cut on my, um, thumb and I actually, my thumb's still numb. I have severe nerve damage. So it's really hard for me when I'm stringing, um, I drop a ton because my uh, thumb just can't um, hold the beads very well. So this is really great for that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure you're tired of watching this video of me just not doing too great. But anyway, so I've just been going at this for, I'll turn this off. I've just been going at this for, well, I don't know, how long have I been talking to you? Plus, you know, maybe five, ten minutes total, and I've done all of this, which is insane. So if I'm doing a piece, double it up, that's four around, it's going to be this long of a piece. Um, so I have to do a lot more to make a necklace. Um, so anyway, I think this thing is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I just bought it myself. Like, I don't know, it's not endorsed or... I don't know. It's not like sponsored or anything. I just went in, picked it up, um, used a coupon, and I think it's pretty cool. So there you go. That's my new, um, I guess it's actually my Christmas present to myself because my mom got me the um, the card. Uh, retails for $24.99, and um, it's cool. I like it. So there you go. Um, I'll be doing some bead crochet. So... I hope you enjoyed that little one. That's just a tiny one, just showing you what I'm up to. And try it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm pro. I'm for it. So I hope... Ugh, can I get in the camera? I don't know if I'm in the camera. Anyway, I hope... Sorry, Mads. I hope you have a great day um, and have fun crocheting. Yeah. See you. Bye. Maddie said bye. She said, hmm, bye.